that maybe some of our challenges in our lives is not the fact that God is absent or void, but is the fact that we have not been enriched in prayer enough. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, as he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said, this is how you should pray. Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. Give us each day the food we need <clears throat> and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And do not let us yield to temptation. I, I, I want to encourage that if we're looking for a model of prayer, because not, not only is when Jesus is there, he's teaching them how to pray. His first thing is his life has been a model of prayer. Everybody say model. Jesus has modeled how to pray. He's shown us that both in opportunities and situations and consistently throughout his life, that prayer is a lifeline. His communication with God, his questions, his petitions, and also his listening and receiving, that Jesus wants to make sure that he knows what God is saying, that it is important for the believer, if we're going to walk this life, if we're going to live this thing, to be in communion with God to know what is God saying before your big decisions, before your big opportunities. We need to know what God is saying in the middle of your challenges when things don't seem to be going right. Know what God is saying. It is in these moments. Sometimes prayer is not just to change the situation. Sometimes prayer is to change us. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. It is not that prayer has been ineffective because it has not always brought the desired end that you want. Prayer sometimes can be ineffective because we keep fighting the change that God is trying to do in you. Teach us how to pray, God. Sometimes you can't give up. Teach us how to pray, God. Sometimes you don't need to stop right now. Teach us how to pray, God. Sometimes you got to keep on going. Teach us how to pray, God. Get back on those knees. Teach us how to pray, God. Don't let the night in. You keep going. Teach us how to pray, God, because I need you to show up right now. May I suggest for some of you, the reason why you're still where you are is not because God doesn't have something more, but he's waiting to see, will you get back down there? Will you put your head back down? Will you call out to no other name that I know? If my life can be in your hands, oh God, if my healing is in your hands, oh God, if my provision is in your hands, oh God, I need you. Sometimes you got to keep praying. Sometimes you got to keep praying. Sometimes you got to get in the posture of prayer. Sometimes you got to move everything else out the way and say, I'll keep on praying. I'll pray until it changes. I'll pray until it changes. I'll pray until it changes, God. Jesus says, keep on knocking. Don't you stop. Don't you give up. It's on its way. Don't you give up. It's on the way. Don't you give up.